Hello, welcome to our M-Pesa organization portal used tutorial. In this video, I will be taking you through the steps of creating a business API operator, or commonly referred to as an API initiator. For the purpose of this video, we shall use the API initiator to refer to the same. To begin, you need to log into the M-Pesa portal for your business shortcode, preferably as the business administrator. Know that, not all operators who can log into the portal are allowed to create other operators. It is also important to control this role since it can be misused. Once you have logged in successfully, go to the menu, and select My Functions. A drop-down menu will show with several options depending on your roles. From this list, please select Operator Management option. An Organization Operator page will show. On the lower left side of the second section on this page, please locate and click the Add button, which has a green cross icon. This will initiate the API initiator creation process. Under this page, leave the organization's short code and language with the default. For the access channel, please select the checkbox for API option. Know that this is mutually exclusive. An operator can only have one of the access channels. Once you have selected one, the rest will disappear. Therefore, if you select the wrong option, you will have to cancel the process by clicking the cancel button and restart this process. On the username field, please enter your preferred initiator username. Since this value will be used to make the request programmatically, it would be prudent to make it reasonably short and intuitive. You can also avoid using spaces within the username. Once you have entered this, please click Next. On the next page, we shall assign this API initiator a profile and the roles. Click the Rule Profile drop-down list and select Default Primary Assistant Rules. Click the Add button with a green cross icon. A list of roles that you can assign to this operator will display in a dialog. At this point, you need to only assign the minimum roles needed for this operator in your business case. If you wish to use this operator to send B2C requests, please select Org B2C API Initiator from the list. If you wish to send B2B requests, please select B2B Org API Initiator, and so on. It is important to note that this nature of operator makes and completes an operation in one request through the API. Unlike a web operator, like the account you are currently logged in with, where they use make a checker approach. This makes them powerful in a unique way. Therefore, assigning them excessive powers puts you at a higher risk of misuse. The good thing is that you can always assign this operator additionally roles later if need be. Once you are done selecting the roles, please click OK button on the dialog to dismiss it. Once the dialog has disappeared, Confirm the effective and expiration dates of the roles assigned and set accordingly where need be. You can also leave them with the default values. Once done, please click Next. On this step, we shall enter the operator KYC info. In this page, you can identify and fill in the mandatory fields, such as first name, last name, date of birth under personal details, then id type, and id number under id details. Leave the OTP status as is under OTP details, select the preferred notification channel, and enter the notification receiving email, or, phone number labeled as, MSISDN. The phone MSISDN value was made mandatory because of the OTP function. An important thing to consider while creating organization operator accounts is, business continuity, that is, if you set notification receiving channel as email or SMS, please make sure you provide a contact that can be accessed and handed over in case of job position roles change or movement. Additionally, as an administrator or business manager, you can always update the KYC details later if need be. Once you are done entering the details, please click next to the review page. On this page, Please review all the details you have provided for this account. You can amend any editable details by clicking previous button, up to the page that the detail was provided. For instance, if you want to edit the username, 
you will click the previous button three times on the subsequent pages up to identity info page. The details you have provided for the other steps will not be lost while your session is still active. If you are okay with the details, please click submit to create the account. A dialog button will show, confirming whether you surely want to perform this operation. Please click the yes button. Upon successful creation, a notification will be sent to the preferred notification channel contact you've provided, that is, via mail, or SMS. Know that this notification will have username and password values as null. This is because this account type cannot log into Impesa portal via web, and requires a web operator to log in and set their password so as to be activated. If you have gotten to this point successfully, well done. You have now created an API initiator account. The account status of this operator will be set to pending active status, until we set the account initial password. We will explain the process of activating this account in the API operator activation video. Check the link for that video in comments below. If you think this video was helpful, please leave a like, and share with a friend. Please subscribe to this channel to get notified for future related tip. Thank you for watching.